The Bible and its Interpretations There's a passage in 1 Corinthians that's been subject to a boatload of interpretations over the years. It sort of spells out that women should cover their heads because of the angels, which sounds like the plot of a lost Dan Brown novel when taken out of context. Cultural Context You've got to remember that the Bible was written in a time that's as different from today as Portland is from ancient Corinth. It was a different audience, with starkly different norms and expectations. Back then, head coverings for women were like wearing a tie to a business meeting as today. Pretty standard fare. Changing times fast forward a couple thousand years. Society has evolved, and Christianity has trucked along through countless cultural landscapes. That little verse about head coverings, it's been interpreted in just as many ways. Some Christian groups, out of a deep respect for what they see as a biblical directive, still hold to the practice. But many others view it as a cultural guideline that was relevant for the time, but not a strict religious mandate for all eternity. Interpretative Flexibility Christianity, like any long-lasting institution, has to wrestle with change. Different denominations emerge. New interpretations bubble up. That's the nature of a living religion. So, while some women do wear head coverings out of faith or tradition, Many others feel that it's not a necessary practice to express their beliefs. And for a lot of Christians, it's about the principles, love, charity, faith, not necessarily the hats. Personal Choice And here's the kicker. You can drive through Portland, and you'll see all sorts of Christians expressing their belief in different ways. Some might be blasting worship music in their Subarus. Others are quietly volunteering at the local food bank. The point is... Religious expression is personal and multifaceted. So, why don't all Christian women wear head coverings? Because religion, much like everything else in this life, is rarely one size fits all. It's interpreted, reinterpreted, and lived out in a myriad of ways. And in the end, that diversity might just be what keeps the whole thing going.